Rich bitch trapper, back and seal packer. Rich bitch trapper, keep a blender with the packer. Rich bitch trapper, back and seal packer. Rich bitch trapper, keep a blender with. Everybody don't have that when you come to They don't have it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Honey Bun. Bring you watching the third episode. I'm sorry, the fourth episode of Trap Talk. And I got Wheels here with me. What's up, Wheels? How are you? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. Glad to be here, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, we, just, we were just listening to his new track, um, Sorry Mama. Mm hmm. Yeah. And that song you said you could have been anything else, but you decided to be a rapper. So what made you become a rapper? Uh, it was just any man. I knew I knew when I was a kid, like I was like eight years old listening to the Ivy Brothers and shit. You know what I mean? So it was like music always been in me. And I always been smart. My mom's telling me that shit all the time. Like she used to chew my ass out of body when I was in school because I never studied it. I always got good grades and shit. But you know what I mean? I just feel like when something for you kind of know what you need to do and it's working out i ain't complaining <laughs> well we both from high point so tell me a little bit about your upbringing uh yeah high point born and raised i had my moms and my pops in the same crib uh yeah, I, everybody we like my mama they used like they like to throw that shit in when they ever no nah, i just say i, I figured out should... single parent I'm glad you said yeah that. yeah 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 so i'm not the you know the typical you know what i'm saying the dad which is unfortunate but now nah, i had both my parents in the crib man i uh i grew up in church realistically um i kind of just stayed out the way you know what i'm saying i had i had older cousins i kind of got in trouble with when i was a kid you know what i mean i grew up when i was hanging out i was with older guys you know what i'm saying i was like this the little homie had sent to the store type shit. But I was always with older niggas and so I kinda grew up a little faster than I should, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know, uh everything happened for a reason though. Right. <laughs> I guess that I say. But how point born and raised though for sure. How point stand up. Mm -hmm. You can be like Wiz Khalifa vibes. And I hear it all the time. <laughs> I hear it all the time. I swear you can be like Wiz Khalifa vibes, make you wanna go roll up, mm -hmm. get down, chill, think about some shit, manifest. But I take that. Uh, Wiz is definitely one of my biggest influences, especially growing up, excuse me. I listen to him daily, you know what I'm saying? So, people tell me that, I just take it as a compliment, for sure. It's definitely a compliment. Yeah, I like Wiz. That. Like, some of his new music, I really can't get into it right not now. Not at all, not he at all. He done changed up a little bit from when he came out with the black and yellow and shit. I think, um, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be a little nerdy when it comes to it. Taylor Dice. It's probably his last decent project. Nah, see, I ain't yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool. <laughs> see, I, 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 I studied him, man. I'm a, I'm a nerd for this shit, so I, I, I get it. I understand. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your lifestyle. Uh, I just stay to myself, love. You know what I mean? I stay to myself, stay to my business. Uh, I got a brand, Just Us Productions. That's pretty much uh, it's me couple of my homies that pretty much started this shit with me from the ground up. You know what I'm saying? We stay to ourselves, man. We do what we do. We be ourselves. We authentic. I don't... It bothers me. And no disrespect to nobody out here that's doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? But, like, everybody sounds like everybody, man. Damn sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, like, one thing we take pride in is, you know, we come, we come a little different. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little weird to your ears at first, but if you kind of tap in, you can hear what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, yeah, I just stayed in my cell, smoked a lot of weed, mind my business. <laughs> How old are you? 28. 28? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I feel like I'm like 35, but that's only another story. Okay, so what's your next big goals? Like with the music career, you want to take it further or? Yeah, man, I, goals is an understatement. Uh, I see this music thing is really just a venue to really put my, 
myself and my family in a position that we never thought was possible. Right. And but I don't see this as the end. This is just pretty much the way into wealth. You know what I mean? Because there's so much other things you can do besides blow your money. When you get rich, listen to that. Investments, stocks. You know what I'm saying? I got a, it's a whole process involved with it, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this music shit for like. I've been doing this shit seriously for like 10 years, man. You know what I'm saying? No no cap about that. But it, when I tell people that, they look at me funny because I just recently just got started bubbling up like last year. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand, you got to understand, you got to trust the process. If right. you really mean something and you really trying to do something and achieve it, you got to be willing to put like five to 10 years in this shit and not see nothing from it. And a lot of people can't really understand that level of discipline and commitment. But, you know, the people who do, you see the results. You know what I'm like, saying? I definitely understand. Yeah, because yeah. That's in, at this state in my mind, in my process, in my life, that's exactly what I'm doing. You got to jump off the cliff sometimes, man. Right. Believe in yourself, 100%. I done stopped and started over. I don't know how many times, but I ain't going to quit. Hey, I'm going to keep both. going. You and me both. Trust me. You know how many times... Look, I've been doing this for 10 years. This shit just started happening last year. You know what I mean? Time I want to say, fuck this shit. And, <laughs> and life life gets to me. I'm a human being. I go life through my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I just, I say that to say, don't let it be an excuse to not go for what you want. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people lose focus. They get distracted or they lose courage because life whoop their ass. But that's what life's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just testing you to see what you, you know what I'm saying? Right. What you work. So today's topic, we're going to talk about men's mental health, mm. a topic that I feel like it's a very touchy topic for Thank me, you. but it needs to be heard. Okay. So how do you feel about men's mental health? Well, in general? Yes, in general. Now, can I have gen- you ever experienced any? Oh, everybody goes through it. You right. know what I'm saying? And I, and I, I guess men more so. Mm-hmm. You can go into the specifics as men feel like they have to hide their emotions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just. I guess, that's the biggest issue. That's just though. the emotion. Yeah, like they gotta because, hide their emotions. Yeah, but. That's but I just understand. Come with Look it. at the society that we live they in. Come with it. You know what I'm saying? They do. You don't really. Everybody go through depression in right. a sense. Everybody has anxiety in a sense. I feel like in relationships, men, the trauma that comes with men, yeah. that's a lot on women. Mm. Because they bring, first of all, men don't even have time to get over the ne- the first bitch before they go to the next bitch. Mm. So it's just like, women too. bro, you bringing her energies over here with me. Now I'm mad. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be biased about that. Because I would say everybody have their baggage, right? I'm saying I just feel like People, people don't go through the necessarily necessary healing process before they try to jump to the next person. Right. You know what I'm too. saying? So it's like people just really have to understand the importance of knowing themselves and having enough confidence to really look at themselves in the mirror and point out all their flaws. Because a lot of people run from that. That's why they jump into relationships because they mm-hmm. feel like that's what they're missing. That's that void that they're missing. But, but you got men that's 35, 40 still doing it. Like, when are you going to learn that this is the ongoing process? Like, You ever heard the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Yeah, of course. So, sometimes people are so stuck in their ways. And, and that kind of brings me back to why I say people are, uh, like, uh, people run from it. Right. So you run, you run from it your whole life, but it gets natural to a point. You don't even really seem like you're running until you realize it, and you're like 38. Right. You know what I'm saying? Doing right. the same shit you've been doing since you was like 19. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's unfortunate, but that all goes into that knowing knowing yourself. Looking into the mirror and trying to figure that shit out, man. But Who are you? Who am I? Yeah. You, you got to say that sometimes. Yeah, most definitely. Who am I? Most definitely. And don't be biased. With yourself, don't lie to yourself. Why are you lying to yourself? If you lying to yourself, why do you? Why? What makes you think you're not saying a lie to the person you say you're in love with? You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you don't really if you don't really look at yourself and say, okay, well, I'm not even going to point it out. I'm not going to generalize it. I'm a problem. I'm going to be personal with me. Mm-hmm. I had to have it with myself. 
when I was like, I would say I was like 19, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My daughter was three years old at the time. I had my daughter when I was 16. Uh, broke as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I, I felt like I was in this continuous cycle, you know what I'm saying? And, and I had to really look at myself and point out all the bullshit about myself. And a lot of people don't really have enough, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not brave enough to have that with themselves, you know what I'm saying? Because right. a lot of people are in denial about their ways. They really point right. at other people. They try to validate their shittiness, you know what I'm saying, with excuses. You got to take accountability. Yeah, yourself. self-accountability. That's the word. I'm sorry, I'm high. But yeah, 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 100%. I had to look at myself and say, look, look, bro, you a piece of shit, man. <laughs> Facts. You got to say it You a piece of shit, though. bro. Admit like it, you gotta accept it. Yourself, yeah, yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. And, and then when I got to that point, I said, up. okay, what do I need to do to not be this? Right. And then that's when that process starts. Yeah. But people don't understand. They, they're scared to take that first step. People don't want to admit to themselves that piece of shit. That's the first step. Real shit, you know what I'm saying? That's the first step. So I think mental illness is just it's general. You know, it, it all depends on... It is an energy, you know, but... Everybody has control of it. Everybody has control over how they how they navigate through it and how they deal with it. If you're not vibrating at your higher self, yeah. then you're not you don't beat the face. You're not. Or well, you're just going to distract yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's sad because we was talking about this off off the side, yeah. man. But like, you know, when I be on social media and shit, like I can you like can see this I shit. can see like, that shit straight like, through a status through like their you, through their status. You, you all right? You know what I'm saying? But then like. Down. But they, they validate it because they'll put an emoji or some shit in front of it. Like, I've been drinking all weekend and shit, but you, you hurt in love. You know what I'm saying? But you put a smiley emoji behind it, and then people are commenting on it and laugh at it. Up, oh, that validates it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now, people looking at you. But, you know. You still not okay. We can go deep, man. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine okay. with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's sad. It's sad. It's just people just got to understand that. You won't change, and you won't change if you keep running. That's just the summary. You won't. You gotta make it happen. Cause anybody that knows me. That's crazy that you said that because I'm an observer. Mm-hmm. I can sit down, point out like, oh, he ain't ready to change yet, or he finna go do this. I sit back and observe everything. You gotta let people. That's how I know how to behave myself. And you gotta let people be who they are. Right. You can't. You, be, you can't make people. I change. try to be. You can only be an inspiration for right. them, but that's up to them to perceive that. However, some people are gonna look at you and be motivated by you. Mm-hmm. Some people are gonna look at you and be envious of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but nonetheless, it still comes from a core sense of like they admiring what you're doing. You took notice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so notice. like you just gotta understand that. That's just right. People gonna be who they are. I had to learn that shit the hard way. Hundred percent. You know how you just, you know you, you yeah, care for I people so much, you know what I'm saying? And That's you just want the best for them. Yeah, yeah. I got a big heart, you know what I'm saying? So definitely. I definitely had to learn that shit the hard way a few times, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Me too. But, you know, I learned a lesson nonetheless. That's why I'm 29. I got a, a lot of life lessons. I've been through a couple milestones in my life, so it's just like you got a little bit of everything in you. <laughs> I'm going to try this strawberry. I'm, yeah. I just, I just had that now, so <laughs> it looks pretty good. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I'm a little nasally. Getting over a little cold I had a couple days ago. We still solid, though. What's good. good? So what's oh, yeah. good? All right, shout out to Baby D. Mm-hmm. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Spread is dope. Okay, so today's trapology word for today, huh? The trapology word for today is what's the morale? What's your definition of what's the morale? What's the morale mm-hmm. of myself? Anything in general. If you was to say what's the morale, what would your definition be? Hmm. I guess the energy of what you got going on. Okay. You know what I mean? Like the morale of your team, the morale of yourself, like how you moving, are you are you giving out positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's funny that you use that word because <laughs> I just fucking wrote a song and used that yeah. in it. 
Yeah, yeah, but <coughs> small world. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done morale because you know sometimes I have to, given who I am, like in my in my brand or whatever, like I am the spearhead of what's going on. Like you know, of course, right. I got people behind me doing what they doing behind the scenes, but like I am the person that's kind of leading it and forerunning it. And sometimes you know I gotta I gotta tell myself like okay. You even when you are in a shitty mood or if you're feeling down, like you can't express that because you got people looking at you. You right. know what I'm saying? And and they kind of building their energy off you. So just for the morale sake of my team, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta keep that. You know what I'm saying? Even when I feel it, like you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's yeah yeah. You say morale. That's why I got it from. That's, that's okay, I take I take that. That's what. It's your definition. I take that. Um, so to let us know where we can find your music at. Ah, everywhere. Um, Spotify. Uh, uh, damn, it's Apple Music. Apple Music. Pandora. YouTube. Fucking Jackster. If that shit is still there, it's on there, man. Check it out. Uh, Wills. W i l l z. Uh, I got my brother with me. I got a uh, got an album coming shortly. I, just, I know I just dropped the tape couple weeks ago, but I got some more shit for you, man. I'm gonna keep Dropping it coming. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it will be out very shortly, man. I promise you. But yeah, I'm everywhere, man. Any any uh, major music platform you at, you listen to, W I L L Z, it should pop up. Fuck with me. Okay. So tell me about your next project. Uh, that's gonna be the album. Um, ah, yeah, I get a name. Who the fuck is you? That's the album name. I like that. Yeah, my brother, my brother produced all the beats. He the one that made the previous one that we just dropped. We are getting aggravated. Um, this one gonna be the one I just dropped a couple of weeks ago is more for like the hip hoppers, lyricism type guys. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's real, it's real sample heavy. Right. I did that for a reason, just to show versatility. But this album that's coming out, it's gonna definitely be more modern, more upbeat. That's gonna be well received. I'm not even tripping about that. We just literally. I'm literally in the mastering process. It's already done. I'm literally making another tape right now while I'm waiting for that to get mastered. That's I, can't wait I got to, some shit for you, man. I can't wait to hear it. Mm. Got more coming from you. Where, where can I book you at? Uh, they can book me. Uh, hit me on my social medias anytime, man. I'm in full control of my social medias. I'm not signed. It's fully independent. Oh, you know, we find ourselves. Oh, yeah, about man. that. Yeah. Would you sign to a label? It just depends. Um, I need to, if I'm signing to a label, it's going to be a partnership. That's just how I see it. I can't see myself signing something and giving them power of, or control over my brand. But right. they just got to see my vision and they got to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I got to feel that. And I just got to feel it's a good relationship. But definitely, if I do any kind of deal, it's distribution deals. Okay. You know what I'm I, I need to keep creativity on what we got going on. I'm not against people signing. You just gotta be smart with what you sign. You know what I mean? Right. Know, your, know your work, bro. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Read that paperwork. If you feel like your shit is dope, you cook your own dope, bro. So get paid for your shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't give them control over your shit. Not at all. Please don't. And that's figuratively speaking. Figuratively speaking. I'm sorry, I'm hot. <laughs> I don't mean that in the literal sense. I I mean if you feel like you dope, bro. Know your work, you know what I'm saying? Don't just sign anything for right, a little bag, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, so what you got out now? So the tape that I just dropped, We Are Getting Aggravated, that just dropped a couple of weeks ago. Uh, my brother produced all that shit. That shit is more, it's more lyric shit, so I mean, I understand if you, you know, more hype beat, mainstream, if you ain't feeling, that's cool. I got the album coming for you. We'll get into that. But the tape that I just dropped, um, yeah, my brother produced all that shit. Uh, it's everywhere if you want to check it out. Yes, we are getting aggravated. Yes, we are. I know it's weird. It's it's the Matrix. I don't know if people really seen that yet. We I mean, not yet, but you've seen it. But that's where we got the idea from. So I know it's weird, but still check it out, man. You might think it's dope. You might think it's dope. You might not. It's cool, but you won't know until you try. Yeah, you really just crazy. Yeah. That's the first track off of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's more separate. Mm -hmm. It's giving me a little jazz, you know, especially with this setting. Exactly, you've been listening to jazz. I've been listening to jazz since a kid. I've always been that way, man. That is funny, man. Yeah, yeah. 
My pop thought I was weird, man. I was like 10 years old listening to uh, Between the Sheets and shit. Like, I was just, you know, uh, it? <laughs> yeah, you got my sister. You got an old song. Yeah, I always have it. You can definitely tell by my music, though. Yeah. Which is cool, you know what I mean? I'm probably just trying to do it. So I did say something about this album that's coming out. I would definitely give you. I haven't really talked about this. I was just on uh, Piff Radio. I don't, even, I, I don't think I mentioned it, but. Uh, the same dude that my brother that produced this tape, I got an album coming. Give me about a month. Give me a month. Yeah, because it's done. It's just in the mastering process. So, ain't nothing I have to do or he got to do. We just playing the time game on it. Give me a month. We're going to get the promotion right. We're going to be album release coming, all of that. Uh, it's called Who the Fuck Is You? I'm Who giving you this you information first. But nobody else got the name of it. I understand. Just check it out. It's gonna be more mainstreamy, more mainstreamy, more upbeat for you. You know, for the young cats. But yeah, we got it. We got the best of both worlds, man. For sure. I actually got a single dropping from that in a couple of weeks, maybe in a week, depending on how I feel. But it'll be out. It'll be out. So you can check it out, man. Okay. Make sure y'all go get that. Yeah. So it'll be everywhere. So. Shit, I might even make CDs. Niggas don't even play that shit no more. I might even have the little CDs for you, man. You know, at, at the album. I ain't seen a CD in I don't know how long. Shit, man. <laughs> I don't even know if I got a CD player in the car. Goddamn. Right. <laughs> All right, Wills. Let them know your book info. Where they can find you at? Uh, check me out on all my social medias. I control all my shit. So you're going to be talking to me directly. Uh, check me out on Instagram. High with dreams, when you spell wit, it's W I T. High with dreams, just put it all together, there's no spaces. Hit me on, man. You can DM me, that's cool. Check me out on Facebook, that's cool too. Keshawn Williams, that's just the name. So hit me up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk numbers to me. Yeah. I'm generous. Sure if I fought with those you. Numbers. Shout out to uh, Just Us Productions, that's the brand fuck with you if you fuck with us your family of course uh shout out to uh homegrown series i'm saying this prematurely but we got some shit in the works coming uh some tour type shit but i uh, i'll leave it at that uh and shout out to you for having me here man this is You're dope welcome, man, man. thank you time. for coming yeah yeah 100 percent what's happening what's happening bro it's your boy wills man just Us Productions is the brand. If you fuck with us, you family. Shout out to Trapanoid ENT, man. Hit her up. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to mine, too. Just Us Productions, man. It's dope. Just kicked it with her, man. Drank a little bit. I don't even drink, but I did it for her. It's all love, man. Go check out the tape, too. We are getting aggravated. Yes, we are. It's everywhere. What you doing? Hope it's something productive.